Hey guys, my first video here. Um, sorry if it's a little choppy, but it'll get better as time goes on. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of things on the newer Everlast welders and combo units. A couple of things that I felt uh, was a necessity right off the bat. Um, first thing is your pedal assembly. Uh, do yourself a favor and pick up a piece of tread tape from your local Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I think aesthetically it actually, I don't know, I think it looks a little bit better. Um, not only that, um, kind of gives you a, a non-slip surface and it's not going to wear out the, the paint on the, uh, the surface area as fast and, you know, rust or anything of sorts. Um, second thing, I have the Super Ultra 205. Uh, it's a 200 amp DC only uh, with a 50 amp plasma. Um, wanted to grab the AC unit, but I got a deal on this one, um, so I, I, I picked it up. Uh, one of the biggest faults that I kind of ran across with this unit is it has one inlet port um, no sort of shut off valves or anything uh, so when you want to go back and forth between using the plasma and in your tig you're constantly having to disconnect your hoses uh, swap things around and, and honestly it's kind of a nuisance um, so I came up with what I felt was a, a real good remedy for that. Um, I spent about 50 bucks in brass fittings and valves and, and what I did was I, I took a T, um, put it through the, the back side of the casing here and uh, hooked up the hoses proper. Um, so if I want to TIG, all I have to do is open my valve um, and it will automatically feed through and go right into the unit. If I want to go ahead and run the plasma, all I have to do is just turn on my air, plug in my hose, change the connector up front and pop on the, the plasma head and it's good to go. Um, not sure if anybody else has come up with, you know, any other remedies for this, but uh, I, I felt going with this setup would be, you know, fairly durable, um, should last quite a long time, and I don't, uh, I don't really foresee any issues. Um, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for watching.